Hi, my name is Doug Windyker. I'm a product specialist here at Atlas Copco, and today I'm going to cover setting a static IP address in your SD pad and connecting to your travel router. Let's go take a look. Okay, so I have exited the kiosk mode in my SD pad, and we're looking at the desktop. Um, and what the goal is here is to connect to the travel router that I'm going to be using. The travel router is going to be um, the router that I'm going to use to communicate from my QA supervisor on my Surface Pro to my SD pad or SD palm. So this configuration is basically the same. So um, if I open up the wireless connection here, you can see that the Good Life, the GL AR 750-50E, whatever, um, this is the one that we're going to use. So what I want to do is connect to that. And I've already connected to this, but if you haven't, it would automatically uh, pop up with the password. Uh, and then we'd have to type that in there. So the SD pad by default is set up to obtain an IP address automatically, basically DHCP. So I want to change that. So when I enter this SD pad into my QA supervisor under my device measuring devices, uh, when I go down to the host, I want to be able to put the IP address in there that's statically uh, set in this SD pad. Uh, I'm going to do this to avoid any kind of uh, any kind of problems I might have doing a customer demo. So it's just a safe thing to do. Most likely, every time I connect this pad to that travel router, it would get assigned to that IP address. But just to be uh, safe, I'm going to go ahead and change that. So. Right now, we have an IP address signed through DHCP. So I'm gonna use that same one, but to find that IP address, uh, I wanna open up the command prop. So I'm gonna type in CMD in the lower corner, and you can see I get my desktop app, my uh, command prop. Uh, and what I wanna type in here is IP config. And we're going to get the IP configuration here. As you can see, the wireless LAN adapter, Wi-Fi 3. If you look at the IP uh, version 4 address, IP 4, it's uh, 10.0.0.141. And then the subnet is 255, uh, 255, 255, And then the, the default gateway there. So what I need to do in this case is go ahead and statically give this IP, same IP address that it's been uh, signed uh, through DHCP. So, and to do that, I need to open up the network and sharing center down here, um, and I need to change the adapter settings. So, and if I go to this Wi-Fi network and I hit the properties, I need to find that TCP slash IP4, properties again and as you can see it signed it automatically uh, and I want to click on use the following IP address and I'm going to type in uh, my IP address so uh, 10.0.0.141 and then go on down to my HCP yeah, let's hold on here we go and the last but not least is the gateway so chances are your travel router or your router has um, uh, 192, I uh, changed mine to run this IP address, uh, this 10.0.0. So that's where mine's configured. That's why you might see a little bit different. But, but either way, um, if you, uh, you know, connect to it, and it's going to get assigned it through a DHCP, and I go through that command prompt. We find out what it is, and then I'm going to change as statically uh, through the internet, internet protocol version number four here, and I hit OK, and that should automatically set that statically. So as you can see, I'm still connected. If I exit out of here. We can uh, actually, just to be safe, we can actually do this IP config again. And you can see that it's still signed at 10.0.0.141. So um, that's going to ensure that uh, I don't have a, a randomly get assigned something different uh, when I'm in front of the customer. So um, again, this setting is going to be um, in QA supervisor under measuring device, this SD pad. I would put that in under the host, uh, where the uh, host name uh, is actually the IP address of the SD pad we have here. So, so in short, that's how we uh, statically assign um, uh, the IP addresses for our SD pad. And this is also the case for the SD palm. Um, and what I like to do is connect to the travel router uh, through DHCP, let it assign the IP address that it wants to give me. Um, and then I go in and I statically change it in the settings. I hope you found this video useful. And if you have any further questions, contact your Alice Cockwell rep
and thank you for watching.